Hello and welcome to Google Digital Garage. My name is Anthea and I'm one of the trainers for Google's free skills training program, Google Digital Garage. And today we're here to talk about how you can track your website traffic using Google Analytics. Now, I'm not alone today. I have the lovely Samantha who is in the chat today as the moderator for this session. As it's a brief session, she'll be in the chat just helping you with uh, any comments, any questions, providing some links and some extra information to assist you with what we go through today. So you should notice her by the blue spanner next to her name. Um, so just engage with her, ask her any questions and she'll respond to them. But if we do have time at the end of today's session, then I will also take some questions then as well. Now, if you want to engage in the chat, just be aware that you do need to have a YouTube account. Make sure that you have um, signed into YouTube and you'll be able to interact. If you don't yet have an account, that's absolutely fine. You should be able to click the button in the chat box right now, set up an account within just a few moments and then jump straight back in to this session so that you can um, ask questions. If you have any issues or any difficulty either hearing or seeing me at any point during this presentation, then please do refresh your screen. For most people, it's F5. Once you do that, everything should generally tend to work out um, and you'll be able to see and also hear. So that's just some brief housekeeping that we've got for today. And as I mentioned, today's session is all about how you can use Google Analytics to track your website traffic. So let's jump straight in. So the first thing uh, we're going to look at is actually understanding Google Analytics. And then we'll have a look at identifying where your users are actually coming from. So at the end of this course, you should be able to understand how to find the data on Google Analytics on where your users are coming from and how you can then utilize that information to improve your marketing and being able to connect with your audience. So firstly, we'll start looking at Google Analytics. And you know, Google Analytics is one of the free apps from Google. So if you do not have this yet, please go and get it. For everybody who has got a website, it's really important for you to have Google Analytics attached to it so you can start to learn the behaviors of people who are visiting and those who are interacting and engaging with your business. So do let us know in the chat where you're, you're coming in from. Let us know why you're here and what you're hoping to get out of today's session. So Google Analytics, you know, as I said, it's, it's very, it's indispensable in terms of a marketing strategy. If you're trying to figure out how to communicate with your audience and you don't already have Google Analytics, you are definitely missing a trick. So we'll drop the link into Google Analytics for you. So make sure that you sign up for this free app. It will give you in, insights into your ads if you're using them, some website um, traffic and also online activity, understanding what people are actually doing on the on your website will give you a better idea of um, what copy or what calls to action that you might need to tweak just to be able to make better conversions. So website traffic is usually a key indicator of success. If you have people coming to your website, that's brilliant. It means that people know who you are and they know where you are. So make sure that you can understand where your visitors are coming from, what they're doing on your website and how long they are staying for. And then use this data to not only improve your website, um, but also, as I mentioned, to improve your marketing strategy, which will essentially lead you to more sales or more signups. Um, so thank you for those who have been popping into the chat. Um, we've got a hello from Jen. Jen Serik, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And also Chris, welcome to you both. And for those of you who are also in today's session. So just one thing to be aware of is that for any of you who may have heard of Google Analytics, you may have heard about universal analytics. So before we dive into the data and, and how to use it, we, let's just kind of look at some of the updates that have taken place. So if you're currently using Google Analytics, you may just need to be aware that Google is going to be um, sunsetting this as an uh, as of next year, middle of next year. So they're going to replace it with what's called Google Analytics 4. 
Now, what we're looking at today is the capabilities from Google Analytics 4 or GA4. So if some of the images in this session look slightly different from what you may be used to in UA, um, in Universal Analytics, then just be aware it's because we're moving people towards that. And if you haven't upgraded your tag, now is a really great time to do that so you can start collating the data that you need to help you make improvements to your website and reach your customers. So let's run through um, a few definitions before we begin. Now, the first thing to be aware of is that a user is someone um, who is visiting your website. A user property is a characteristic of that person. For example, maybe their location or even their language. A session is, is what happens every time they visit and the duration of that visit. So when they go to your website and they stay there for two minutes, that is a session. A session event is something that happens when they take an action on your website. Maybe they view a page, maybe they add something to their bar, your their basket, maybe they check out, you know, maybe they fill in a sign up form. And a parameter is additional information about the event. So for example, if the event is a checkout, it will tell you something like the currency, so that would be one of the parameters. And if it's something about adding adding something to their basket, the parameter might be the number of items. So immediately, just from some of the terminology that we're talking about today, you're able to see that the sessions and events that we had give you information about what your customers or potential customers are actually doing on your website. Once you're able to know what they're doing, it helps you to effectively communicate a lot better. So just three important uh, changes to be aware of is that GA4 helps you to understand the consumer journey through your website rather than focusing on isolated sessions. So it's better that it's uh, it's better designed to help you see trends in your data and it gathers information from both the website and also apps if you're using them so you can see how well you're doing and how other people are engaging with your content. So um Google Analytics 4, as I mentioned, it's a more intelligent Google Analytics with machine learning, and it basically gives you better insights about what it is that your customers are potentially doing on your website. And that's what we want to know, right? We want to know who is visiting us and what are they doing and how can we maybe do something different so that they realize that we have the solution to their problems. So let's have a look at some of the reports that you get. Now, one thing to be aware of is that the reports are actually grouped into topic areas, as you can see on screen, acquisition, engagement, monetization, and also retention. So you'll see these on the navigation menu on the left hand side of your home screen. So acquisition is about where are my users coming from? How do I acquire them? Engagement is about the behavior. So what are they doing? How are they engaging with my website? Monetization is all about how they're spending money. So are they buying something? Maybe you've got products or maybe you've got services. So how much money or revenue are you generating based on the people who are visiting your website? And then lastly is retention. Do people come back or is it a one off? How can you nurture them so that they can become a repeat customer? And so then you also have the user, which can be split into demographics and also the technology that they're using. So the reports are really good because it helps you to understand, you know, where people are coming from, what devices that they're actually coming from um, and using, how long they're staying and what kind of activities that they are performing. So today we're going to focus on how you find traffic um, and user acquisition data in Google Analytics 4. Um, and then you'll be able to kind of look into more detail in some of the other areas with our other webinars. And so, again, if you do are interested in other webinars, we have a longer version of Google Analytics getting started with it. So please do visit the webinar. A link will be dropped into the chat for you so that you're able to sign up to one of our other sessions. So acquisition, where are our users coming from? As I mentioned, how are they behaving? How are they spending money? And are they coming back? So let's understand where your users are coming from using the data within Google Analytics. So this is all about trying to understand how traffic actually works. Now, the first part of acquisition is, is getting a snapshot of where your 
overall traffic is coming from. So the idea is understanding where people are coming from. Is it social media? Or is it paid ads? Is it organic search? Is it direct, i.e. people are typing the website address? Or is it from your Google business profile? And again, if you don't have a Google business profile, that is another free tool that will help you increase your reach and get more visible on Google. So please, we'll drop a link for that as well. Please do ensure that you uh, sign up to Google business profile and that will give you more um, eyes on your business as well. So with the page traffic, you then start diving down a little bit deeper and you start to see some of the page traffic data, what's actually happening on the page that they're on. Then you dive down a little further and you start to see what's happening on each of the pages. So are they starting at the home page? Do they then go to your services page? Do they go to your shop? Do they then come back and look at the about page? You know, what kind of things are they doing and how are they interacting on that? And then the other thing is that you get an understanding of which pages people are landing on. So are they coming straight into the home page from social media? Is it that you've maybe got a paid ad? and they're now directly going to your services page, what is the most popular page? Because if you have website pages that are never being looked at, it's an indication that maybe that page isn't needed, or maybe it's not clear enough for people to want to visit or stay there. So let's think about uh, your website traffic. So as I said, on the left-hand side, you have acquisition, and this allows you to see the this so this is allows you to see where people are coming from so as i mentioned there's organic search there's direct traffic there's paid you know there's referrals so there's all sorts of ways that you can break these things down to understand where things are coming from and again if you're paying for ads and you find that the ad clicks that you're getting are much less than your organic traffic then it gives you an idea that maybe something's um, not quite right with your ads and something needs to be improved so this is giving you data for your entire website and will help you to assess which of the channels are performing the best and improve your marketing strategy to pay more attention to those that may not be. So who are your users? Where are they coming from? What's the location? What is, you know, what location are they from? What devices are they using? What demographic information do you have about them? This will help you to understand your website visitors and the kind of people you're reaching. Now, if you have a specific audience, maybe you're trying to reach men of a specific age group from a specific location, and you come to check your reports, and you find that none of the people on there are fitting within your target audience, that is a very clear sign that the marketing strategy that you're using is not effectively communicating to the people that you would like to support. The, uh, to offering the solutions to the problems that your target audience has. So again, this is another great way for you to be able to update your strategy and to understand your customers and to better communicate with them so that they understand that you have the solution to their problem, which means that they are more likely to be able to engage with you. So again, use these reports, allow them to you know, to be humble about it in the sense that you have been trying something and maybe it's not gotten you the results that you want. It's absolutely fine. We use this data so that we can improve. So if it means that you've been putting all of your time and attention into Instagram, let's say, but you're getting more traffic and more conversions through Facebook, then either your Instagram strategy needs to change or you just need to spend more time on Facebook because you know your audience is there and they are engaging with the content that you're putting out and also coming to your website to convert. So again, it's really important for you to make sure that you understand more about your customers and more about the problems that they have so that you can use this data that you collect through Google Analytics to improve your ability to um, sell your services and your products to them. So we've come to the end of this session. I hope you found it useful and can see the value in how you traf uh, track traffic within Google Analytics. So two things we really need you to do now. The first is for you to switch over to Google Analytics 4. So if you've got a good, um, an, anal an analytics account, just go there and there should be an option for you to upgrade. Other than that, 
think about three sources of website or page traffic that will help you to understand you can search for a report on analytics to give you some useful information, which will then help you to either communicate better with your potential clients or make improvements to your website. So if you have enjoyed this session, please do give us feedback. Samantha's put a link into the chat for you and we wish you all the best and ask you to just check out other webinars that we've got running and join those for any subjects that you feel might be useful. So thanks again for joining us and have a great day.